If you cook, there is a pretty good chance you've used the Asian spice turmeric in your food. All the time. It's everywhere these days. <laughs> no, yeah. and more recently, you may have even heard of or used it as a supplement for its purported healing properties in an effort to prevent infections. But in is this it, case, <laughs> right, is there too much of a good thing? Can that be bad? Dr. Frank Lee George here with the concern regarding too much of I this. I can't spice. believe this because I just had a little <laughs> shot of turmeric just the other day today. thinking it would help yes. my cold. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Kim and Devin. The active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin. That's what produces the myriad of benefits that are thought to be from turmeric, including antioxidant activity, anti-inflammatory product properties, anti-cancer and memory enhancing effects, to name a few. But experts at the University of Michigan Health warn too much turmeric can actually cause liver damage leading to hospitalization. The issue that we're seeing is not the amount that you put on your, your food, it's when you take, if you will, industrial uh, strength doses of this as a supplement, as a tablet. Dr. Robert Fontana is a liver specialist at University of Michigan Health. He says one of their recent studies found some people may be genetically predisposed to problems from turmeric. Too much turmeric over a prolonged period of time can cause a hepatitis liver injury in very rare instances of fatalities. We're not exactly sure why this happens in some people. Besides genetics, another possible explanation is increased absorption in newer combinations. The run-of-the-mill turmeric that you buy at the health food store or at Costco or what have you, it's actually not very well absorbed. But the more recent formulations that are now being marketed have pepperine in them. And the reason that they have pepperine or pepper is it increases the absorption. Overall use of these products across the board is increasing significantly and I think will continue to do so. The labels on these products do not accurately reflect the ingredients and they do not mention anything about safety concerns. Now, the market for herbal and dietary supplements in the U.S. is enormous, and unfortunately, the FDA does not require manufacturers to conduct any safety testing on herbal supplements, so all I can really say is buyer beware. Yeah. So this next question I'm going to ask for Devin because you just prepared a, a meal with turmeric. <laughs> and black pepper. <laughs> yes, just this it's, weekend. It's, it's okay if you just use the spice in a dish, right? Yes. In fact, okay. I would even go so far as to say it may very well be good for you, but uh -huh. the problem is the belief that is that if some is good, more is better in the United States. That's not only wrong, but it is potentially right. harmful. The one thing we know is too, too much, much may be bad. Yeah. KJ, is there anything else you're taking that he can expose tomorrow? <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> That's what I thought. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Dr. McGeorge.